Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Quinn, a Tetris clone for, for Mac OS X. So let me just show you a preview of it. A really cool thing about this is it has online play, which means you can play tournaments with other people on the internet. And there's a high score list, and it's a perfect, it's perfect. But see, when you get the game, the controls are kind of weird, so when you get it, just go to preferences and change the controls because it's because the controls they start out with are really uncomfortable to use because like move they're like not all the numbers and if you're using a and if you're using a macbook like i am then it's going to be really hard for you to use it because you don't have a keypad so these are my preferred settings because you can just keep three fingers on Z, X, and C, and three fingers on the arrow keys. So that's what I did. And now you just—it's really good interface. So you can just press play. Let's Google this out. And there you go. Oh crap. I'm not that good. I'm not really that good, so the only thing that doesn't match about this, as you notice in some Tetrises, they have that little box at the top left, the hold box. I don't know why they put that they didn't put that. They might have just forgotten. But all in all, it's just fine. So great Tetris clone. But that's Quinn. But that's Quinn. So, now how do you get it? So, to get it, you're gonna need to open up your web browser. Go into Google and type in Quinn. Two N's, just remember that. And the first site that comes up right here Simon Hartel. You know, press that and it comes up with a website like this and then there's the online play I mentioned. There's all these different games that are going on. And it tells you what it's what it's got. Network play, extensive online, it has key layouts, good graphics, it's free too. You know. And all you gotta do is just click download and it'll download. I already downloaded it, I don't really want to download it again, and it's a DMG. So, you're just going to open it up and it's going to drag it into your applications folder. And there you go. And the next video I'll be making will be on how to get Minesweeper for Mac OS X, which is called Mindswept. And that's all.